Hi there, I'm Emily, also known as the Drone Angel. A couple months ago, the RC Pro received a firmware update, including bug fixes, quality of life changes, and the convenient ability to bind to the Air 2S. On its release, the RC Pro could only be used with the Mavic 3. There was actually a special bundled Air 2S Fly More combo in late 2021, and people who purchased that bundle were able to use the RC Pro with the Air 2S right off the bat. For the rest of us, we only gained the ability to use this controller with the Air 2S in January 2022. I was very excited to metaphorically drop my cell phone and instead use this improved RC Pro. If you didn't already know, the RC Pro has a better display than the old smart controller and is much easier to set up than the old system of connecting your mobile device. Before we get started, please take a moment and smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on drone news and tips. The process of binding your remote to your drone is simple, but it's not intuitive if you haven't done anything similar before. To start, turn on your drone you want to bind, turn on your controller, and open the Fly app. From the home screen, you should see a rectangular button labeled Connection Guide in the bottom right. It will take you to another screen where you can view all of the drones that the RC Pro is compatible with. Before the update, it would only list the Mavic 3 or the Air 2S, depending on the combo that you purchased. You won't be able to select the Air 2S directly from this page until you bind it. Instead, press Camera View, located on the top right of your screen. There will be a three-dot menu also in the top right, so tap on that. Then go into the Control tab and locate Repair Aircraft. Your controller will start making loud beeps, but that's normal, so you don't have to worry about anything. While the controller is beeping, hold down the power button on the aircraft you want to bind, in this case, the Air 2S, until it makes a few beeps back. Your drone should now be connected. It's gonna be obvious right away whether or not you've bound the controller successfully, since it should show the camera feed from the drone you just connected. You can go right into controlling it with the RC Pro if they were bound correctly. You will likely want to swap between the Air 2S and the Mavic 3 Pro at some point. Thankfully, switching between drones is even easier than the binding process. All you need to do is click Connection Guide at the bottom right and select the aircraft model that you want to use. If you bought the RC Pro with the Mavic 3, then the M3 will be automatically connected whenever you start up. You will only need to swap between aircrafts when you want to use the Air 2S. Since the RC Pro is relatively new, there are some issues that DJI hasn't nailed down yet. Hopefully they'll be able to fix them promptly. In the meantime, I'll go over a couple common problems that people experience with with binding their own drones. You might get an error message when trying to swap that says firmware version inconsistent. If that happens to you, just press continue and install the needed updates. There have been some reports of this message not going away even after the updates are installed. This is because your device might not need a new update, but instead needs to switch versions to match the aircraft that you're using. As far as I'm aware, this is unavoidable, and you will need to have access to the internet whenever you want to switch between drones. Other issues like ones related to connectivity might be the result of a defective controller. You will have to take those up with DJI directly since it's unlikely that they have to do with the binding process. Hopefully by now you have bound your Air 2S to the RC Pro with no issues. DJI receives a lot of questions about the RC Pro on their official forum. It's a good place to go if you want to get a feel for what's going right and going wrong with the controller. I'd love to hear about everyone's experiences with the RC Pro, so feel free to share in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, the biggest compliment to me is if you could share it with someone else that would also enjoy it. Of course, hit subscribe to stay up to date on drone news and tips. If you're interested, I also do online educational consulting and hands-on workshops where I teach you how to fly over whales and dolphins. More information is on my website and in the links below. I'll see you in the next video.